Hey guys, just wanted to shoot a quick video here in Long Island City in Queens. And this is the site of where the R32s were first delivered in 1964, 59 years ago. They were originally built in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania by the Bud Company, shipped over by rail to New Jersey, and then barged over. And we can see one of the original locations right there. Most of the reference buildings aren't there anymore, but you can still make out Cooper Village in the distance. They were then barged over here into these docks. Most of the industrial infrastructure no longer exists, but you can still walk out onto these piers. And then onto these iconic signs, which are still here after all these years. There's two of them here. One on the right still has rails behind it, which lead into nothing. But they used to connect the Sunnyside Yard, which are behind these buildings here, which would help deliveries of freight cargo. And just behind the structure, they actually kept some of the rails in the park. And these, I believe, are actually original to the time because stamped into them 1949. So the 32s actually traverse these. Now they don't lead into anything. It's all residential buildings now, but this was once all industrial. The 32s were then Sent from Sunnyside Yard up the Long Island Railroad, Bay Ridge Branch to Coney Island to be delivered. And here we are just a short distance away from the waterfront in Long Island City. Here we are at the Long Island City Station. There's no trains here right now. It's only served by a handful of trains during rush hours. So no trains here at the moment or even laid up. But this is one of the reference locations of where the 32s were drawn after delivery. We're over here on the leftmost side. Completely unrecognizable. All the buildings on the left were demolished. You can still make out the bridge, but it was also replaced with a newer one. After this, they were brought further down the line, past Hunter's Point. Down the Long Island Bay Ridge Branch, which connected under the F train then on to Coney Island where they were tested but yeah still pretty cool to see this place exist some 60 years later